deeply embroiled in a very, very heavy hitting war against the Ottoman Empire. The Emperor, the Empire of Great Britain, France, Castile, Algiers, Hungary, and Naples, deeply entrenched in the Carpathian Basin, trying to fight off the Ottoman Turks and um, taking heavy losses, but at the same time inflicting very, very heavy losses. Hey guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful day and welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. My name's Chewy. I like to uh, do a quick little thing at the beginning of these videos. Now I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do some roleplay. Leave your comments below. Let me know how you feel about a little bit of roleplay and uh, leave a uh, like if you enjoyed it. But uh, now we need to let our boys reinforce here. Also, I'm sure people were screaming about it. The reason my hungry wasn't helping me, he's disloyal. That makes sense. It makes sense. So let's come over here and do a couple of dev clicks. Make him loyal. Now he'll help me out with his 31,000 men he's got running around. So this is defensive terrain here. So get in there after the monthly tick. Reinforce. George Hood is on there. We want this guy here. And we will reinforce with this 10 stack. Probably not going to be a white. But it's a good battle nonetheless. France has this conga line marching in here. Probably not going to matter because the autos just have so many men running in there. I didn't actually see how many men he lost in that war or in that battle. His manpower has to be topping out pretty much to the bottom. Hey, there you go. It happened again. This happened in the last episode. My uh, entire, you know, 60 some stack fled one province over while the little small um, stack fled way far away. Very annoying. Also weird. The Ottomans are standing like 100,000 units here taking 5% attrition. They really want that fort. You know, here's the thing. Even if I don't take any... Oh, they got a... They didn't win the 40 of the siege. Even if I um, don't make it away from this war as a major victory, I'm still totally fine with it. The Ottomans are fighting. Oh, wait. No. Hey, look. Castile's down here. Sieging down the Ottomans. That's awesome. So let's peace out Tunis. We will leave him as an OPM here in Mazab. A little bit of Diplo, that's fine. A little bit of AE, don't care. Diplo is fine. We're still able to take Diplo ahead of time. Or actually, it's not ahead of time, but we want to be ahead of time for extra monies, which is good. Algiers looking very strong. Gonna end up having rebels down there. It's fine. It is fine. Man. Let's make sure we got our maneuver guy here. Getting these guys off this fort is going to be important. 73,000 men, dude. They have so many. This is insane. Extra little madness. Continue to core this. They're con uh, yeah, Portugal's. They're going to get around me. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, is this Georgia? South Georgia? I don't know, man. We already have most of the um, trade power from the Ivory Coast. I suppose we can just continue to uh, consolidate our, our stuff over here. That's fine. I'm certainly mostly um, interested. Oh my gosh, man. <sighs> my poor... My poor... Um, what are they called? Um, my dudes, my Marines. This war, man. Quantity Ottomans, I tell you what. They have more manpower, meaning they probably slack in their recruiting standards. They have 83 professionalism. Holy crap. You think I'm playing on very hard difficulty. <laughs> That's nuts. You know, this happens like once per campaign, right? It's like become a big joke at this time, at this point. Like, oh, you know, time for Chewie's once per campaign butt whooping by the Ottomans. That's what it feels like, man. You guys are heading over there, so let's not go in there. They're attacking me here with a three-star general. They are so fast, man. The AI is so fast. All right. Receiving gifts. Thank you. All right. We're reinforcing this. So are they, though. 
They just have so many men. The Ottomans are going to be able to tank these losses for quite a long time. There's not really much I can do about it, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's get these guys grouped up for now. That way we have at least a partial front line. We'll go one more monthly tick here, and I'll get these guys off of there. What? Oh... He wants me to give up three provinces. Ottoman, you can suck my balls, dude. Let's get some mercs over here. I can't do mercs in my PU land. Okay. This is, uh, man. Let's get our boats over here. This is quite frustrating. Quite frustrating indeed. Highlands, so it's a minus one for them. And I'm fleeing into territory that I can't uh, defend myself in. Oh my gosh, man. This war. So... If we can uh, snipe this province down here and get the ticking war score, that would actually be good for us. Uh, I'm not going to lose mill mana. Mm. Or mill... Admin is fine. Let's see if we can come down here and snipe this. Yikes, man. They just have so many men. I, I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to have to... Um, Come back at a later date, a little more prepared, I think. Let's get... I just want to come down and see if I can get onto it. It's it's forest or woods, so... If they want to attack me, they can. It's going to be quite painful for them. They're about to take Pest. Oh, they didn't take Pest. Okay. So, let's see here. He doesn't want a white piece. He would in six months... He still wants me to give up a province here. Can I just give you some money? Wants concessions other than gold? Eh. That tends to be the way that it works with the AI auto- or AI. Oh my gosh. Okay, so those guys are gonna be there on the 9th. I won't even be there till after them. My boats here are in a massive battle. Should be a win for us. We've got a lot of galleys there in an inland sea, though. We sunk his flagship, but man, they're reinforcing. Wow, man. Okay, he's on low enthusiasm. Ooh. Okay. That was the most insufferable war I think I've ever fought. I have no words for that. The Ottomans have 85 professionalism. Actually lost some from hiring these mercs. Damn. That was so bad. Leave a comment below, guys. Tell me that I suck. But tell me it with love, right? Be nice about it. I have feelings too, you know? Jeez, oh, Pete, that war was crazy. All right. Let's get up a couple of these guys here just to make sure that um, if they are trying to blockade my my uh, subjects that they're going to have to pay for it. Manpower-wise, we're good. I mean, we could have held on for a bit longer, but I really... I think I just need to get more men over here. That was the issue. The terrain is defensive, which is good for us, but... Um... Ah, oh, that was a that was a rough one. That was a very rough one. We'll just focus on continuing to get stuff colonized. I think that'll be my main thing. Uh, matter of fact, about to max out on mill mana. Yikes. Okay, well that's totally fine with me. Let's come over here and see what our need prosperity. Okay, Let's do some dev over here, huh? 
Oh, that was expensive. Shouldn't have done that. Oopsies. Do I have it on this province here? I do not. Get this one over here. Local dev cost. Still ahead on production as well. So we might as well dev some production in a couple of these provinces as well. There we go. So that'll help out our income as well as our money. Oh, we're just off. 1447. No, 1444. Our truce with our um, coalition is over. So I'm going to immediately turn around and attack these guys. So that way we can start working through... Where are we at here? Where are we at, actually? Am I... I was thinking we had some missions here. Monopolize the channel, huh? Ghost of Holland. I don't have 85, really. Well, we're definitely going to have to get started on that as well. We're only three years off from... Um... I was thinking I needed those islands. Maybe I'm being... Maybe I'm mistaken. We're not going to be able to do that. Am I mistaken? Minorca? Ah, so it's this one. Which I can't do until I get Gibraltar as well. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go for... Whatever. Minorca. Since it's easy. Now we'll shuttle these guys over here to siege him down. Easy enough. They're going to love being English. Let's continue converting as well. And let's continue getting money for free. No reason not to. And I will continue to build these buildings because we just found out that uh, we need more manpower. And that's fine. Unjustified demands, that'll be useful because we're going to take a couple of provinces here that we don't have claims on, so. So, let's scorch that province, see if we can bait them into heading over there. Get over here and blockade. I'm just watching this little stack here, seeing if they want to head over into this Arborea. Since I scorched it. Oh, no, no, no. Elizabeth is dead. The Empress is dead. Long live the Emperor, Nicholas the I, with his heir, George, who is literal garbage. So he's going to actually get thrown out because you're trash. He's 55, pretty old, but uh, I refuse, actually, to have a terrible monarch like that. 622 is not as good, but it's still pretty good. Here we go. So you are walking in there. That's what we do. He'll be there on the 13th. I can be there much before that. So, what you do is you either wait for him to lock in. Level-headed. Morale hit when losing a ship. Very good. There you go. We'll be there on the 11th. We will shift consolidate. And he will attack us into the highlands and stack wipe himself. Not bad, right? So, now you have these provinces over here to Naples. Switzerland? What? What? Jeez, oh, Pete. Nothing ever comes easy for me. Losing conquest against Molly. That's kind of okay with me, honestly. We have our next thing here in the last one. Separation of power. Yearly absolutism will be useful. Because the absolutism is going to be here in about 12 years. So let's use these guys to get our boats over here. Or use our boats to get our boys over there is what I meant to say. Now, I don't know if we're going to full annex him in this war. Matter of fact, I don't think we're going to be able to. We could. Yeah, oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, maxed out on admin, man. We are... Oh my gosh. You know. That's nuts. Okay, we're definitely going to take admin tech ahead of time. Because the 10% uh, the admin efficiency is going to be very good. And the development efficiency will also help. As well as the universities. 
basically it's all going to end up being very good for us. So I'm kind of okay with this actually. See, so Malta is in this war as well. And so is Cologne. What the heck? Let's get over here onto Malta. I'll probably annex them as well because the knights have been raiding my guys down here, which is annoying. Tunis is gone. They can't raid. So I think Sus can actually raid though, right? They're Berber. Yeah. I'll take the mill mana. It's fine. So we'll, we'll uh, probably give the knights over here to, um, to Sicily. He's got a core on it. Nice. Does he? He does. Very good. Well, in that case, we're definitely going to take him. Um, I'd gotten some questions about why Naples had claims down here and not cores. It's because Sicilian culture is not Naples' primary culture. Naples, Neapolitan, or Naples is the primary culture of Neapolitan. You can see here. Um... Okay, maybe it would have to be... He'd have to be a dead nation for it to say. But it basically says these cores will never expire. Uh, and so, since this is not... Since this is Sicilian culture, you have 50 years to uh, take your provinces back after you lose them in order to maintain your uh, claims on that thing. Or go to war with the, with the guy who owns them at that time. So like I got in a bunch of comments about um, Byzantium. He's still got a couple, of course, but uh, eh, eh. I don't really care. I really can't be bothered. I can't be asked. CBA, right? That's what uh, British people say. At least my boy Rory says that, but he's a goofball. He's a Londoner, so I don't really know if he, I don't think he gets included in with the rest of you guys. Shout out, Rory. Love you, buddy. There you go. More manpower. Won the Siege of Malta. Give you to Naples. Gonna cost us a lot of Diplo. And a lot of AE, actually. I don't care. Very good. Leave him as an OPM. I don't care. We'll come back for it later. Let us yoink. And then let us yoink. And then let us core. Let's take a look here. London up to 111 dev. Preposterous. Absolutely nutty. Get you guys over here to suppress rebels. And then we'll have these other guys come over here and suppress rebels there. What the heck? What am I doing? S. What is the button for this? Oh, right. Derp. I'm using... You can't do that with a conquistador. I am being really dumb. There we go. <laughs> I was just being really dumb there. Let's see here. We got busted spying. Might as well steal some maps, I guess, of like Niger. 40 provinces. Yes, please. Let's see what's going on down there in Africa. British Italy, right? This doesn't seem quite right, but I'll take it. The homies. Amazonas. Guys, leave a like if you if you enjoyed the homies. If you love the homies. I'm actually a homosexual. I love my homies. So, Wowzers. Big income boosts or boost, boosts for them. So I think these guys will become another full blown uh, stack here. Continue colonizing. Three, two, one. Are you kidding me? Get out. Get out. Go on. Get. You're not welcome here. Luckily, we're still converting stuff to uh, the right culture, so. Anglican. Oh, my gosh. The Protestant centers of Reformation are just ravaging Hungary. Oh, the poor guy. The poor guy. York gains a seat in Parliament. Yes, I will Moreau marry you, Naples. All right. It's looking okay. It could be worse. So, these guys will both be added to the trade company. And we will add you guys there as well, which will allow us to steer just a little bit more money. 
Shanti separatists, huh? Converting everything. Oh, I love it. I do love seeing Anglican taken over. This poor Hungary. It's a good thing Hungary's got this, um... This, uh, heretics and heathen provinces do not give any penalties, because that would be pretty bad otherwise. Global trade has spawned, and, uh, spawned in our nation here in Gloucester, however that's pronounced. Go ahead, Brits. Tell me how it's pronounced. You guys always do anyways. <laughs> not bad. This is, uh, what, what's the city in Gloucester? Isn't that, uh, Bristol? Yes, Bristol. I knew that. So... 300 mana, free prestige, government reform progress, which is nice. You know, actually, ooh. Since we got some reform progress, I think it's time to switch over to the States General. Ah, English monarchy, we can't do it. Unfortunate. I'd like to switch off of the English monarchy if at all possible, but I don't think we can unless we do it with rebels. Crap, I'm actually meant to take this before we peace out. This is fine. I'll uh, I'll take this tech at, at some point. It's not a big deal. How much is it? 900. Not bad. Let us do some of this here. Get some money. And then do a couple of these clicks here. In the provinces that we still have. See how they're all one because we keep on exploiting the provinces. There you go. And then let's turn these edicts all off because we don't need them anymore. Don't want to pay for them. Look at our income. 60. Nice. Morocco. Let's attack Morocco. I'll call in Timbuktu. I'm not going to join in. I'm actually going to ignore them. Might be able to end up piecing these guys out pretty quickly if they get rebels on their capital. Which looks like they might. That would be good for us. I'm going to continue stacking manpower buildings. Let's uh, not worry about my vassals for now. I'm just going to max out how much manpower I'm getting from these provinces. Oh yeah, it was at 1447 or something last time I looked. And now we're up to almost 1600. So we're making gains. Also, once we um, get France integrated, it's going to be much better off for us. Beginning of fire. Oh, look at that art. That is beautiful. I love the Grand Exhibition. That was over here, huh? So basically, this province is going to have no colonists or no uh, life on it for a long time, basically, is what that says. Portugal's over here. Once we finish this war, I'm going to actually let some money save up and get our a uh, Indian trade company. Let's have these guys head over to Tripoli. Peace, they say. Get you guys out of there. Siege you back. Back over there. He has still no... He has no claims on anything? Really? That's annoying. So let's take a look at his mission tree. If we can do anything down here, then I will. No, that's not going to work. Isn't there one? He hasn't gotten an explore. This doesn't... I think that this is bugged. Because there's no way he hasn't gotten an explorer, right? Oh, wait. He hasn't. Because he only has expansion. Oopsies. Yeah, okay. Reclaim Andalusia. Convert Iberia. Expel the Moriscos. Okay. So, I'll just give most of this to Algiers then. Because Algiers is uh, going to be better for converting stuff since he has religious. And admin, so we can core it up cheaper as well. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have to do anything. It's awesome. I'm just letting my money save up. That way we can buy some, uh, some charges, some trade companies. So I would like to piece out of this war before the end of the episode. Finishing up our cores, of course.
let's uh, partially state this uh, once our cores are done, of course. So let's continue to convert our vassal there. At least get as much religious zeal over here as possible. That way the Senators of Reformation won't duck us more than they already are. Just need to win this siege here and then we can basically do whatever we want. Wide up, producing fish. Very good. Juice with Ottoman is over. Actually insane. Legitimately insane. Look at him. 188,000 manpower, 200,000 units, 91 professionalism. These Ottomans are going to be... They're going to be tough to beat. Village is capital. Answer your trade power. Give me your money. Break your alliance with anybody useful. There you go. Oyo at least, because I want to conquer them eventually. And um, let's see here. I'll take what I can over here, and I'll just give this to him directly because it won't let me. This is all one state. So it looks like Sus actually formed... Um... Ooh, let's take this. Yeah, let's take this. That's going to allow me to take more. Uh, so then what we do is we come down here. I'll take that fort there. That's fine. Actually. It's going to be a lot of overextension. I'm going to end up having to give some of it to Castile as well. So let's do that. I will give him whatever I can to Algiers. Uh, Grant Province. Grant Province. All right, so I'll just core up Fez for him then. That's fine. Yeah, our Diplo slots are like getting absolute, or our Diplo mana is getting destroyed. All right, so we need to actually be mindful of this now because the coalition could fire any moment. I would really rather it did not. So yeah, look at the, the devastation over here. Sag. Let's start colonizing the Spice Islands. We actually have two. So let's get two of them over there. And uh, colonize the Spice Islands. Very good. Permanent claim, uh, claim on Kutai Brunei. Permanent claim West Bengal. All right. So I said I wanted to do this, so let's do this. Can I please buy a charter or trade company from you? He is at war, right. The classic Indian hug box is going off. All right, good draw. Can I please charter a trade company from you? Let's go for like the best one you got. Yes, please. Thank you. And that will allow me to click this button here. I'll establish Sunday schools. I should found an Indian trade company. Oh, happening bakes global trade. Well, we'll be able to do that here in a moment. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. And uh, make sure you subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date with our channel and what's going on with that. Hungary has integrated these guys. So I think what I'm going to do we're going to upgrade these forts, all of them. This will allow us to buy some more time in the future when fighting the auto blob. Let's also build a couple of extra forts over here. Basically, we need to make sure that they are not able to completely tear me apart every time we fight them. If they want to fight us, they're going to have to really, really go for it, right? We're converting this province here, so... We'll get that done sooner rather than later. Looks like I can take mill tech now. Not a useful tech, so I would rather just uh, spend the mill on a on, uh, deving. Lots of mill dev. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We are now gaining oh, 1750 a month. Not bad. Just this episode, we gain an extra 300 manpower a month. 300 manpower every single month. But yes, like I said, all that stuff. It's going to be linked in the description below the video. So uh, if you guys are enjoying and you want to see more. I also suggest supporting us on Patreon if you have it within your means and you would like to. William Shakespeare. Cool. Very good. All right, guys. But that, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. 
huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, Jay Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Jay Cutchell, N. Winkler, R.J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.